And ya yeah, is the vocative article. And in Arabic, we usually use the vocative article when we call out for people. So, for example, Sabah al Khair ya Ahmed, Sabah al Khair ya Fatima, Sabah al Khair ya Samira. Right? And this will come later in the next lesson anyway. Some greetings. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So this is basically like saying hi or hello in English. And the response is Alaykum salam Alaykum salam Sabah al khair. Sabah al khair. Good morning. And the response is also Sabah al khair. Masa al khair. Masa al khair. Good evening, and the response is also Masa al khair. Masmuka. Masmuka. So, this is what's your name when we're addressing a male person. Masmuki. Masmuki. When we're addressing a female person. And you can, maybe you can see the ka and ki. This is how you can differentiate between uh, like whether you're addressing a male person or a female person from the short vowels. All right? Kaifa al-hal. Kaifa al-hal. How are you? How's everything? Bikhair. Alhamdulillah. Bikhair. Alhamdulillah. Fine. Thank God. All right. So, Alhamdulillah, you will find this a common word in Arabic. Uh, Arabic and Muslim speakers of the language, they use Alhamdulillah, you know, like whenever they um, they are asked the question, Kaif al-hal, how are you, how is everything? Alhamdulillah always comes up. Min aina anta? Min aina anta? Where are you from? For a male person. Right? Min aina anti. Min aina anti. Where are you from? For a female person. Ma salama. Ma salama. Goodbye. All right, so let's do this activity together. I'll give you a second to think. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Right? Now, be khair. Alhamdulillah. Be khair. Alhamdulillah. Do you remember uh, this is the answer for which question? Kai 